by the way, Lynn and I are friends. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you tell? I didn't know his daughter and my daughter were best friends <laughs> until the wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Swayze, 1141 North, 300 East. You have a really tough job. You've talked about sacred cows tonight. And quite frankly, we have, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but 12 million, about 12 million is our revenue, right? Yeah, roughly. 5% is 5 is what we're paying for both works. 4 million, 12 million, we have to pay 25% to hit around $4 million. That's a five times increase. In public works, so you fall on the math. Not exactly. It's math. But. Well, let, let me tell you why I'm not following. Okay. The actual money that, that pays for the road construction is not coming out of the general fund. Right. The part that's in the general fund that identifies roads is paying for the people, and it pays for other services with roads, but not the actual roads. So what are we paying to repair the roads? Seven fifty around that. I think you just went over those numbers a little while ago. It's a total of 1.3 million coming from the state now, class C road funds. If it now, passes. Just under a million dollars from the state, we've allocated 200,000 from the general fund. With the understanding that we have a bond payment fluctuation in what we spend in a given year, depending on what the class C road is in the projects that we have. And all of that money, Steve, is right. in the. It's about three times, maybe a little more than three times the amount, right? We have to yeah, increase. Like okay. So what I'm asking and what I propose is I feel like tonight, um, I'm, I feel like we had a lot of proposals on how to increase revenue. I feel like I didn't hear a lot of ways to significantly decrease expenses on the other side. And I'm asking you, to your point, to cut in all areas. If this is truly your number one priority, have to happen sacred cows or not whether i like these people over here or not it's got to happen i feel like that's reality and i what, that, what i'm asking is is part of what you're talking about to seriously look at cutting areas there were several proposals by people here here to help we're not here just to you know give you guys a bad time or anything like that we really as well are invested in this and we see this huge number. So I'm asking you to truly look at ways to ex to cut expand well. I, I don't have a lot of the great ideas. I mean, you talked about 350 some odd calls, fire related. It's a $2 million budget. That's $5,500 per call. I feel like that's a lot. I'm not an expert. It's a simple example. I bet in every budget we could look at something, find a way to cut people, cut people, cut whatever it is. Sure. It's reality. It's in business. We do it every day or we don't survive. That is correct. So it, it's a very serious problem, I feel like. And I feel like us as citizens, our frustration, I can't speak, is that we don't hear a lot of conversation about cuts. We hear a lot of conversation about increased revenue. How can we come to the citizens and get more money from the citizens? Some of us want to hear how we're cutting the budget significantly. And you're doing a great job. And City budgets are very tough. There's not a lot of revenue. That's the fact. This is reality, and you're going to have to make some tough decisions. And I guarantee you, every decision you make, somebody will call you and be very upset. No matter what you make, and that's, that's what you signed up for, but that's reality. But you're the leaders, and so you're going to have to cut through all of that and decide, you know what, this is what I feel, so I can make the decision and live with it. We're going to continue to complain. If I don't like something, I'm going to call you or email you. Or, or I would never want your job. No offense, but <laughs> I couldn't take it. So you, you, you brought us some good points. I mean, it is valid that right. the council can and should look at cuts. Suppose that we go through this exercise, all right? Mm -hmm. We do start looking at cuts. Can you help garner the support from people in Pleasant Grove? to live with those cuts. Yes, I already, at the retreat, I said this very thing. I said, make us your allies. What's the plan? Get the key people in the room. We're not here to make you have a miserable time. Get us in the room, listen, and don't be defensive to some of these people. 
I'm sorry, but they're just trying to give you advice. Take it. If you don't like it, whatever, push it off. But I will. If we feel like, and I feel like a lot of truly taking our ideas, more than just listening, vetting them out, and also looking for ways to cut, I'll be your biggest ally, and I think a lot of other people will. But I feel like a lot of citizens do not feel like that is happening. I don't mean that rudely at all. I'm just trying to be straightforward and show us where we're at. Thanks so. to you, Steve, and also to Blaine, everyone spoke, and we appreciate that level of support. I, from my perspective, I don't speak for everyone on this council, but I don't have any sacred cows. Right. I think that's why the majority of it loves me, and there are some people who don't. Right. But uh, we, we absolutely need to be willing to look at every possibility, at every option. I and to. I agree with Blaine, I agree with the folks that have spoken on that point. We need to be willing to analyze every possibility. Now, some of them are justified and uh, in ways that maybe you haven't seen, but we have. We need to know that information. So we need to do a better job of getting if you If it is justified, the citizens, as a communication, which you talked about earlier, need to know why. I sat down with Ann Anderson once. She showed me a lot of things, opened up my mind. I told her I'd be her biggest ally if, if some things happened. So I feel like the communication needs to start with our leaders and give us a chance. Reach out to us. Give us a legitimate plan that has cuts. Thank you. When you say communication, what, what does that entail? Like what? Are we? Communication's got to be two ways. Well, I understand, but what, what can we do better as, as simulators to communicate? What would be the most effective way to utilize the rest of I, I feel like I feel like the city council is very defensive, right or wrong. And a lot of people feel that way. No, it has nothing to do with agreeing or disagreeing. I think it does, though. I think if we're not in your same mindset, or certain people on this council are not in your same mindset, we're called defensive. I think that's exactly that, that's, what it is. Not personally, okay. I have the city. Sid, I just have no, to disagree with you. I have to disagree with you. Agree with you. I, Mayor's response to me this is was quite defensive. On both sides. Okay? Sorry, boy. I'm sorry, 